What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 What is poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Duff Ass Panna. And today, guys, in this video, I am doing extra small knot lists. These might as well be micros, guys, because these are literally the smallest knot lists that I've ever done in my life. Didn't even know that I would be capable. We all know that I did the bust down smalls on Trinity. I had eight rows on each side in the top. This one, my client actually wanted 10 rows on each side, but I can only fit nine and Guys, honestly, people send me pictures of other people's work sometimes and I try to customize it to my client's head and I could really only fit nine. Otherwise, literally these braids would have been microscopic. So I have nine rows on each side, which is a total of 18 rows at the top. I did four rows at the nape of the neck and I did an advanced pre-part. I'm gonna show you guys how I connect my part to the middle section a little bit later, um, but I didn't pre-part pre out her entire head just because it would have took a really long time. And so, yeah, my cousin actually assisted me with these knowledge. So you guys will see Mo in and out the video. This took us a total of seven hours, which is actually incredibly fast. I seen another braider that she posted. Um, she did these by herself and it took her 18 hours. So the fact that we did these in even half, more than like half of her time is, I mean, I'm sorry, less than half her time is pretty bomb. So. I'm gonna show you guys me just putting this first braid in. I was really nervous for these first couple rows because honestly, I didn't know how small to make my pieces that I was feeding in just because I've never done braids these small, but they were literally like microscopic pieces, y'all. And then I just kind of wanted to see how these first couple rows form. I kept looking at Mo, I'm like, am I eating this shit up or not? My client is actually super particular. So I'm like, my parts needed to be on point. My braids needed to be on point. Um, and yeah, I just wanted this out to turn out really bomb and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So in this clip, I'm just showing you guys how I connect the midsection to the front. I know in this midsection, it's gonna be a total of nine rows because obviously I have nine rows on each side. I'm just gonna go in and try to get my part as straight as possible and then I'll go over it with product. To check my part, I split it in half and I kind of roll it out to the side and that's just gonna show me if it's symmetrical on each side. And that's really, really important because honestly, you don't want your parts to be crooked because yeah, otherwise the style's just not gonna eat. So I noticed as I was doing these braids, as I got to the midsection, my some of my parts were getting like wider, not really thicker, but like wider like almost rectangly and it was really hard. So that's just something I have to work on for next time. I noticed when my client sent me the video of this style, the uh, braider had parted the front off from the back and I don't know, maybe that's like a technique or something. I just personally don't like to braid like that because I feel like my rows don't connect right. But um, so some of my braids are not brick laid because I was trying to make sure I keep my all of my parts small. So that's one thing that I have to work on for these. But I think for this to be our first time doing them, like we really ate these down, y'all. I literally seen my client, it's been a week actually since I've done this style. And I seen my client today and me and cousin Mel were like, bitch, we ate them braids up. So I really hope when y'all get to the finished look, y'all are like, yeah, y'all really did y'all big one. So I'm not really doing anything different as far as the knotless technique. Like I said, just the pieces are a lot smaller. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys me installing these braids in a couple different rows and then we'll get into the finished look. Now, one more thing before I let some music play, y'all always ask me, how many braids, how many braids, how many braids? And I'll be thinking in my head like, girl, nobody's counting how many braids is in my client's head. Now, in a total, she had 13 rows all together because like I said, it's nine going up and then four in the back. But actually, Cousin Mo had y'all back because she actually counted how many braids were in my client's entire head, which is insane to me. And she literally did it out of nowhere. It was so funny. So I'm gonna let y'all guess, how many braids do y'all think that my client has in her head? Don't worry, I'll give y'all some time to come up with it. Think, think, think. Yeah, you're wrong. It's 195 braids. That's so crazy. That's so many braids. Actually, it doesn't sound like a lot to me, but seeing these braids in person, baby, oh. That's a lot of braids. So if y'all wanna recreate this look, 13 rows, 195 braids. She didn't count how many braids in each row, so you gonna have to figure it out yourself. 
but there y'all go thank cousin mo in the comment section down below Watch out, baby, you're about to tip the scale. The feather on the turtle's back broke the shell. Back then there was a time I thought we'd prevail. Fast forward, present day, it ain't going well. Don't have time for loss, eh. I gotta cut you off. Eh. Don't know what you've been on. Me, I've been running a marathon, yo. You just hold me back, said you'd hold me down. Damn, yeah. Took you some time. You've been on a ride. Can't see through your pride, no, no. And I'm tired. I tried being nice. Now I think it's time. Keep counting the lies. I'll be surfing the silence. Stay up my mind. And I'm tired. I know it would save me time if I just hit the climb. Tell me when I say I'm about to do the day Patience comes with weight, and that's all I had She led me astray, she likes to distract She won't ever change, she's an empty past She, she would never, never like to say she likes those games, no I can never play insane, so gone I'm dazed all up uh, yeah. But I'm tired You've been on a ride, can't see through your pride, no, no And I'm tired I tried being nice, now I think it's time Keep counting the lines, I'll be surfing the silence Stay up my mind And I'm tired I know it would save me time If I just hit the climb, oh All right, y'all, so finishing touches, I literally didn't do anything different. I let Monique dip these braids just because she was actually really excited to dip these, y'all. She's actually really good at dipping, and I love when my assistants dip because it's just one less thing that I have to do. And so she went ahead and did these, and they looked so fire, so fire, and we weren't even done with them. Um, so I'm really excited for you guys to see the finished look. For this style, it took a total of two packs of hair. Um, typically I would use about five bundles, which is almost like a pack and a half. So these did take a little bit more hair, but my client said that they weren't heavy. I actually did not put a lot of hair in each braid, so I don't know why. My client's hair is actually really thick, her natural hair. Um, so maybe that's why we use a little bit more hair, but like I said, she said it wasn't, um, heavy, but you guys can see that they are nice and full. And yeah, I'm just so excited for you guys to see the finished look because y'all, we really just ate these up. Like, I really can't say that enough. We ate these up. Now, how much would y'all pay for these? Because I um, I actually charged, I ain't even gonna tell y'all what I charged my client, but it's nothing near what I would charge for these because they were kind of experimental a little bit. I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to execute. Um, but how much would y'all pay for these braids? My client told me that I should definitely be charging nothing less than 700. I guess the girls in Houston be paying a thousand for these braids. So I'm like, okay, like how much would y'all pay for these braids? They are extremely small, y'all. And I was so irritated because I had another client um, after her that had been waiting for a little bit. So I felt like I was kind of almost rushing my finished look process. But I really wanted y'all to be able just to see how bomb these were. We did some inside and outside video. Um, but yeah, let me know what y'all think. And let me know what y'all would pay for these in the comment section down below. You know, people always be debating the prices of the baby. These... I'm charging an arm and a leg. If I ever had to do these by myself, I would assume that they would probably take me anywhere from like, maybe like nine hours. Cause I feel like I installed it pretty quick, but I would have to go back and break down. So maybe like nine to 10 hours. Oh yeah, you're gonna pay for nine to 10 hours of my time. Especially when my installs, even by myself, usually take like two and a half, so. Yeah, let me know what you guys would pay for this in the comment section down below because I'm very curious to know, but my model looks so bomb. And yeah, let's just get into these braids. I 
as always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to see more content, let me know what you guys want to see down below. And I will catch you guys in my next video. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 What you mean?